Hey guys, Adrian here today for the Digital Dojos, and today we're going to be going over a Mac OS X application that's also available for Windows and Linux, uh, just a little bit more popular on the Mac, however, a big or one of those popular Mac applications, and something I've been using a lot lately. I haven't done a lot of Mac videos, so I've been trying to cover some software I use. And uh, one I've been using lately was, is a video transcoder. It's a uh, open source, GPL licensed, multi-platform, and multi-threaded video transcoder, and again, available for Mac OS X, Linux, and Windows. It's called Handbrake. So what Handbrake is, is a video transcoder. You can transcode files, either DVDs, you can, you know, put DVDs in and transcode them to like an MP4 or anything like that, you know, convert it. Or you can even do non-DVD format files. So like, for example, um, I record my podcast every week. Uh, it's called the Dojo Cast. You can search it on iTunes. We do the latest week or the weekly tech updates. Uh, and, you know, latest tech news and all that jazz. But anyways, uh, I record it on Windows, on a Windows machine, which records in a WMV format. Uh, my Windows editor was at, acting up when I was trying to edit in uh, Sony Vegas. I used a Sony Vegas, I think, 8 or... I think I'm still on ver uh, version 8. I haven't updated. Uh, you know, had the time or money to update to 10. But anyways, um, I've had a lot of problems lately, and uh, I decided to move to the Mac and try to get to editing with... Uh, just using iMovie right now, because I haven't uh, gone out of the way to get... Uh, what do you call that? What's it called? Uh, Final Cut. So I decided to get hand or uh, use Handbrake in order to convert the file because iMovie doesn't support WMV files, so you have to transcode it to something like MP4. Anyways, long story short, Handbrake was the tool that I use, and it's gonna be the tool I use now when I edit on my Mac. I need to convert Windows files to something Mac compatible. So you can download it here at Handbrake.fr, and you can see some of the updates that they post about you know the new uh, codecs they add, etc., and the better support for you know etc. Uh, etc. Et but with that, let's just go into the actual application here. So Closing this, I'm going to open this up here, and here is Handbrake. So it's a pretty simple interface. You first off want to click this source, and you want to find a file that you want to use. For example, I'm going to use this WMV file, and this is the one I got from my Windows machine. It's going to take a second to scan it. It's going to tell you the source right here. So this is video 123, um, and if it's a DVD, it'll tell you the information like the title, the length, uh, you know, different angles, different chapters, frames, etc. Uh, and that's just you know extra information for a DVD. Now, um, the output settings right here, this is what you want to worry about when you're outputting it. So if you want to output it as a larger file size, you can. there's some uh, little codecs here you can pick. So if you click the drop-down menu for Apple, let's say you want to uh, transcode it for a device like your iPod, your iPhone, your iPhone 4. So if I was to click iPhone 4, it's going to already check all the settings I need for an iPhone 4 if I wanted to convert this video specifically for an iPhone 4 format. Otherwise, I'm just going to click normal. I can set my own settings. I can change this to an MP MKV file, change it back to MP4 or whatever. I can mess with the audio here. I can you know change the codec it's using. I can add subtitles if it's a DVD type thing. If I want to add, uh, I think it's, this SRT is a sound or a subtitle file, uh, I believe. Um, advanced, you can add some other options here with um, uh, reference frames. And this is just more advanced uh, video. This is more... For advanced video editing or editing, not editing, I should say, uh, options and chapters again for DVD. Some of most of these settings are for uh, DVD. If you're you know using a DVD to transcode to a regular format for a Mac or PC, and again you can click iPod uh, 5G support. You also have multiple presets up here in the right corner, and they even support some legacy hardware like Classics Apple TV Legacy, which would be the old version of the Apple TV. Uh, you can look update for built-in presets, or you can even add your own, make your own, and then add it into the list right here. So um, if you have multiple things you want to transcode, you can add them to a queue, and then you can hit the show queue button right here, and this will show you everything that you need to be transcoded, and you can start and pause. You know, if you have a lot of stuff going, uh, you know, transcoding, this is a really, you know, powerful video converting tool because it can do multiple at a time. Uh, you can hit picture settings here in the top and you can see the aspect ratio. This is for HD video. You can set different depending on your resolution uh, that you want to, you know, the video to come out in or to output in. And there's some filters, uh, filters here that you can mess around with as well. Along with that, you can get a preview window which will basically show the preview. So this is the actual video right here. This is the podcast I recorded. And you can see there it's just a frame of me. Uh, the activity window which will give you the information about what's going on, what, you know, everything is doing. So yeah, you can see everything you know that happens if there's an error or something like that. And of course, you can toggle the presets, which just closes the window. So um, with that, along that, you can obviously select the destination. A really, really powerful tool, guys. If you are a Mac user, a Windows user, or a Linux user, and you just need a really good video transcoder, check out Handbrake, one of my favorite tools as of recent that I've been using. It's really awesome. Free, uh, open source, multi-platform, multi-threaded. You know, uh, more can you ask for? Anyways, guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos for more content. 
for technology, you know, reviews, tutorials, and how-to, head over to digitaldodos.com. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.